Hey there beautiful teachers. In this video I want to talk you through a fantastic book called Doodles which is by Alison, Alison Matthews and it's published by Editions Musica Forum. I'll leave a link directly below the video in case you want to check it out and learn more about it. It's a really interesting book um, and the name is very appropriate. So on each page you'll find um, these little doodles that go along with the pieces which are really fun. Um, kids absolutely love them. My kids have been very engaged by those particular doodles and the pieces themselves are interesting as well. There's four different difficulty levels so all of the first section is level one. Very simple and really short little pieces but with these um, little nuggets of ideas to make them more creative. So for example, if I look at the third one on this page, it's like a terrified looking doodle face and the piece itself just goes. But then it suggests I repeat it or try it in a different octave. Where does it sound more scared, right? So you get your students to try it in different spots and it gives them a lot of the suggestions give them ideas for repetition, right? So they're repeating it a bunch of times and practicing reading more. And this book would be really great for any student who does need some extra time with reading and reading quite basic pieces that are engaging because of these little ideas that go along with them. So all of these level one pieces are actually in a middle C position, which is not always my favorite, but I think in this case it works because it's great for that timid reader who just needs some more quick wins and some easiness in their reading journey. Um, so especially if a student is struggling with reading or just needs to sidestep for a little while, I think this book would be fantastic. We'll skip ahead to level four to take a look there. So still lots of doodles. Not all of them are faces, by the way. There's little jelly beans. There's um, all sorts of things. This one's lemons. Let's play through the lemons one. This is in level four. It's still not Super difficult reading, but there's definitely more going on. After level one, she moves from middle C position out to C position for most of the pieces. And this one goes. It says to lose your, the palm of your hand actually there, but mine would be a bit big. Perfect size for the palm of a child's hand. Um, so it says play the staccato chords with a sour bite, especially the, the cluster at the end. So there are all these fun little um, explorations of music that aren't intimidating because they're short. They're all one line. They're all little doodles, as she says. And they've got these great little suggestions of how to make them interesting. Um, it says play it all an octave higher and take off with a whoosh glissando. So there's little descriptions that go along with them that capture students' imagination. And that's what's so fantastic about these. You don't often get pieces that are easy going for a reader who's not having a great time with reading or just a student who needs to go at a slower pace that are also creative and inventive. That's not a combination you come across very often. You get those more challenging pieces that push beginners who are ready for the push and explore all sorts of things. And that's fantastic. But what about the students who aren't having a good time with reading? We, we can, you know, um, capture their, their hearts and their enthusiasm for music through rope pieces. And that's something I absolutely advocate doing. But it's great to have an option where we have a reading piece that can actually ignite that spark for students, even when it's so simple. So I highly recommend you check out this book for your struggling readers, especially, or anyone who needs short pieces that capture their imagination. It's at Editions Musica Forum by Alison Matthews, and it's called Doodles. There's a link directly below the video. If you have any questions about the book um, or suggestions for what you want to see in future videos, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you.